Hi everyone, I'm Mathieu. I teach more than 250,000 students online and offline on cybersecurity and mobile application development. I also teach mobile application development in Boazic University in Istanbul, Turkey. And also I co-founded and I'm currently the CEO of the Collective Academy, which is an education startup here in Turkey. Today, along with the Code Stars, we bring you the complete pen testing and privilege escalation course. So let me start by saying that you have to have basic understanding of cybersecurity and you have to have Python programming language experience a little bit in order to understand this course. Within this course, we're going to focus on gaining access and privilege escalation steps of the hacker methodology. So, if you have taken the complete ethical hacking course from us or any other equivalent course online or offline, then you're suitable for this course. If you're already in cybersecurity area and if you're looking forward to get a certification such as OSCP, then again, this is the right course for you because this will help you a lot during the process. We're gonna solve a lot of vulnerable machines, a lot of capture the flag challenges during this course. This will be all hands-on experience. We're gonna work with OneHub, we're gonna work with Try Hack Me and also Hack the Box as well. We're not only going to see Linux machines, but we're going to learn about Windows machines in gaining access and also privilege escalation side as well. Now, if you're ready, let's get started. Hi! Before we dive into the pen testing and privilege escalation in this course, I wanted to show you what we are going to learn and also, more importantly, what should you know before taking this course as well. Before taking this course, you should be experienced with basics of the cybersecurity, fundamentals of the cybersecurity in a way that you should be comfortable just diving into the penetration tests. So what do I mean by that? So if you have taken our complete ethical hacking course or any other course on online platforms or any other platform as well, then maybe you're actually aware of this hacker methodology steps. So if you Google hacker methodology, you will be presented in a diagram something like this. So sometimes we see different names for the steps, but it generally goes like this. It starts with reconnaissance and scanning and identifying vulnerabilities. So we scan the uh, target system that we're trying to hack into. We try to find vulnerabilities. We try to gather information about the system. Then we exploit those vulnerabilities and we gain access to that system. And then we generally try to find a way to escalate our privileges so that we can be administrator or we can be root depending on the operating system so that we can actually report all the steps, all the necessary steps to make the system more secure so that we can be a good cybersecurity analyst or cybersecurity managers or something like that. So what we're going to focus on during this course is not the reconnaissance or scanning or identifying vulnerabilities. Actually, we're just going to focus on this whole thing. Okay. We're just going to focus on this whole thing, whole penetration testing system, all hacker methodology, but we are just going to actually uh, intensely look at the uh, identifying vulnerabilities and gaining access and also the privilege escalation. So if you're trying to get an OSCP certificate or any other certification as well, this course is right for you. If you have the basics, if you have the fundamentals of the cybersecurity and if you're trying to take your level to the next one, then this is the right course for you. We're just going to dive into the penetration testing and we're going to solve a lot of 
capture the flag CTFs. We're going to work with one hop, we're going to work with try hack me, we're going to work with hack the box CTFs, and we're going to see how a problem or how a machine with vulnerabilities can be hacked, how a problem is solved in this equation. Okay? And the privilege escalation is, is a subject, is a very neat subject that we should focus on very much if we really want to go into the details of the OCP certification or uh, the cybersecurity in general. And um, most of the time it's underestimated and it's not placed uh, or at least it's it's not getting the, the uh, attention it deserves in many of the courses. So I actually allocated a good amount of this course to the privilege escalation. So if you're trying to learn about privilege escalation or if you're trying to uh, move your levels, move your knowledge to the next level, then you're at the right place. But again, this is an intermediate to advanced course. And we're going to take a look at all of the section. We're going to solve a lot of CTFs. And actually, we're going to solve CTFs all the time. So this is all hands-on training. Of course, we're not going to neglect the theory. We're just going to understand what's going on behind the curtains as well. But it's all going to be hands-on. We're going to practice all the time. We're going to solve all of those things that you're seeing right now. And also, we're not only going to focus on the Linux, we're going to focus on the Windows as well. That's why we're going to need a premium Hack the Box account at the last sections in the Devil Arctic and Windows Privilege Escalation sections. I'm going to talk about that during the course. This is due to the Windows licensing features, okay? And if you don't want to pay for that, it's okay. You can just watch those sections. But for the 80% of the course, you can just go for free. Okay, it's not a problem. So enough talking. Let's just dive into the stuff. We're going to start with the bandit within the next section together.